Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. I'm going to take a uh, Forex quick look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. I try to make sense of the technicals in what is uh, a up and down uh, trading market for that uh, currency pair over the last few days. So uh, let's get started. Uh, looking at the uh, price action yesterday, uh, move uh, to the downside, move to the upside, move to the downside, move to the upside, and trading here today, move to the upside, move to the downside, move to the upside, move to the downside, move to the upside. You get the point. There's lots of ups and downs uh, price action uh, in, in this uh, currency pair of the last few days. Uh, what I could say technically is that the near the 50% retracement, uh, we did find some support buyers, a 50% retracement that's of this uh, last uh, move down this is a sharp move to the downside in the trading last week it took the price up from down from uh, 65 uh, 0.65 down to 0.6285 before rebound starting this rebound uh, run to the upside side uh, but uh, we are seeing uh, so this 50% uh, retracing comes in at 0 0.63927 went a little bit below that level level but uh, not that far uh, maybe down to around the 0 0.63 Eight nine level before uh, rebounding uh, back to the upside and trading here today, uh, we did extend above a swing area. This uh, swing area goes back in time. It probably go back even further, but uh, I'm going to show you all the different uh, times that the market uh, came into this area through here, here, here. Uh, you can get the uh, picture of the the the, uh, the levels of uh, reflection or deflection within this area. Either it goes uh, to the upside or to the downside, uh, and uh, uh, you know that that's what you want to uh, look for in a, a swing area is either either reflex or deflex or just moves away from this area and uh, so you can see the different uh, times uh, in trading yesterday where the price I came up to that area and found resistance and trading here today we did move above it and that should have uh, uh, led to further upside momentum and it did for just a little bit but then uh, it failed and what do we do we uh, reestablish the resistance against the high of that swing area before moving to the downside and we are seeing some other uh, lower highs uh, coming in uh, against the low of the swing area so there, there, this area between 0 0.6425 and 0 0.6435 is a resistance area that if the price were to uh, uh, head up to this area you'd expect sellers to lean against that area uh, Conversely, if the price were to move above it, then those uh, sellers within this area would likely get out. I would expect them to get out and for the price to move higher. So it, it can, remains that point of reflection or deflection uh, in this uh, area right through here. And uh, so be aware of that. Uh, so uh, overall, uh, we have the 50% retracement sort of as our level of support. You can go down to the 100-hour moving average as well. That's the blue line in this chart. Break below each of those levels, and then we're going to have the 200-hour moving average to get to and through on the downside to increase the bearish bias. On the top side, get above 0 0.6435. Stay above, and the upside is wherever it wants to go. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye.